Sorry for that. The band's clapping and moving. They're insane. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, since uh, starting his career on MTV, my next guest went on to appear in such films as Any Given Sunday and The Brothers. This weekend, he's performing at Caroline's Comedy Club right here in New York City. Please welcome our pal, Bill Bellamy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Very good. How's, uh, how's everything going with you? How's life? How's oh, I'm good. How's yeah, your I'm family? Good. You have a family. Right? Uh, yes, yes, a wife and a two-year-old daughter. She's, oh. uh, she's two years old. Her birthday's gonna be August 3rd. She is doing a lot. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, so she's almost two, or you said she's... She's almost two, man. She's starting to flirt with boys already. <laughs> the other night, true? we were in a restaurant. She was like, bah. I'm like, you, you don't know him. Right. <laughs> I think it's a lot when they're that I'm, age. Yeah, yeah, I'm like real nervous because she, you know, she's cute, a little cutie, and she's like flirty. What am I gonna do? I should get a pistol, huh? Yeah, well, you can, <laughs> you can wait for now. You can have a, a, a squirt gun. Yeah, I fine. just get jealous, man. Uh, now, now, do, do you let? Here's a question I ask: Do you let your your daughter watch TV? That's one question I have for for parents. Only my movies. Um... <laughs> That's a good but policy. But you know what's funny though? My daughter does. I mean, she's only two, but she does like recognize me and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, whenever she see a brown man on TV, she's like, "Daddy." I'm like, "No, that's Don King." <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daddy. His hair is different. Right, right. A little different. What's her, What's her name? Bailey Ivory Rose. Well, that's a pretty name. Yeah. You don't hear that every day. Bailey Ivory Rose. Yeah, it's sort of like, it feels like a liquor, huh? Yeah. Because that's I've what had, we I've was actually, drinking. I've had, that in my, <laughs> I've had that in my coffee. It's very good. Makes it smooth. Yeah, it does. Better than coffee. Now, are you thinking about more kids? Are you happy with one? Do you want more? Um, at first, I wanted to have three kids, but I realized it's a lot of work, so I think two would be great. And I would love to have a boy and uh, my thing is just to make it fun. I've been asking people, especially people in the audience too, like, what? How do you get a boy? Like any type of position you need to do. <laughs> I'm really flexible. Are they so, saying you know, that? They're, 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 yeah, that's always you know, erotic like, when you do like, that you know, to your wife. Everybody Let's always... get it on, wang. You know, that's not. <laughs> that's but not every, good. you know, what's funny. Everybody has like their own like little thing. To, right. You know, keep the lights on. Uh, wear your socks. Wear wool socks, or you know, I'm down. If you know, go to my website, BillBellamy.com. If you got something hot, you think it's good, put your head behind your back and balls to the wall. I'm good. <laughs> balls to the wall could work. Now, what, could what, work. what? What? <laughs> do, do you keep? Are there? Is there any like scientific? You know, uh, is no. there any idea? You know, I mean, people. Some people say like you, it's a certain kind of underwear. Uh, seriously, that if you wear different kinds of underwear, it might mean there's better chance of a boy or a girl. I don't but know. I think can't be right. I mean, I think if you wear real tight underwear, you will never have a child, but... <laughs> uh, they, but some, a fine singing <laughs> career, yeah. But you have a high voice. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's just all random, but I'm, I figure I'm gonna have fun. So I've just been asking people different stuff, especially guys who have, like, a lot of boys, you know? I'd be like, man, how you do that? I don't know. <laughs> and they had that attitude, yeah, too. Yeah, like, hey, I man, I'm just lucky, yeah. man. It's my boys, you know? Right. And then when you have a... When, if you had a boy, then you would want a girl. You know how it is. You just exactly. always go back and forth. Right, right, right. Now, I, I, I heard that you are cousins uh, with Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. He's your cousin. I didn't know that that was true. Yeah, he's the biggest cousin I got. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's, yeah, a lot of people, we don't talk about it a lot, but, I mean, it comes up quite a bit. And uh, the funny thing about Shaq is Shaq is so, he's so big. Like, people don't understand. Growing up with a cat like that, just understand, when we were, like, you know, in the fifth grade, he was still that big. Right, right. Like, he, when I sat at a little desk, he sat at the teacher's desk because he, he was a big-ass dude. Right, right, right. And he's then, also, I mean, I, I, he's been here. I've met him. He's yeah. one of the nicer people yeah, I've met. Yeah, he's cool. Not just, and not just in sports, like in show business. He's a very sincerely yeah. nice guy. He's a real cool guy. He's got a lot of personality. I wish the Miami Heat a lot of luck. But here's the crazy thing he's doing. He wants to be a cop now. I've heard about this, yeah. and he's serious about it. He he's wants to real. Be a, I mean, he he's the real deal. He, he came to my house with the cop car and everything. I'm like, dude, how you gonna be a cop? You can't even get out the car. He's like, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he, was he was shaking the car <laughs> off his foot. He was like... <laughs> He's too big. Well, here's the crazy thing I heard. Big. He doesn't just want to be a cop. He wants to be, and I'm not. He, he wants to be an undercover policeman. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Apparently, he has. I mean, can you imagine him like, like just I Shaquille O'Neal? I've yeah. seen you, Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal wearing like a walrus mustache. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Would you wish to have any drugs? You know, just like. <laughs> 
it's just complete madness, but he does. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the dude is crazy. He can't hide, you know what I'm saying? But, but I think he got, didn't he? He is a marshal. He actually he is, took the test. Dude, he's official. That's the he's crazy thing. He's officially a marshal, like he a U.S. marshal. He's official. Like, he got the big siren on his car. It's like the size of, a, of, of like, a, a, a small pinto. Right, right, right. <laughs> but he's real. He's good people, man. I wish him the he best. He can just put the siren on his head and run down the street. <laughs> <laughs> like, I give up. I give up. Uh, well... Say hi to him next time. Uh, oh, oh. Bill's performing live this weekend. Yeah, yeah, Caroline's, man. Caroline's Comedy Club right here in New York City. That'll yeah. be a good show. And uh, next weekend at the Comedy Connection in Boston. Yeah. And uh, best of luck with the oh, family. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, You're doing a good job. Thanks for stopping by. Bill Bellamy. We'll be right back with MIA. Stick around. <laughs> On June 7th and 8th, my next guest will be appearing at SOB's here in Manhattan. Tonight, she's here with a song from her debut album, A Ruler. Please welcome all the way from London, M.I.A. <laughs> all right, everybody, that is our show. Do you want to thank my guest, Bill Bellamy? Thanks so much for being here. Nice to have you on the show. Always, always. Good to see you. Our thanks to MIA for performing. That was fun. Thank you for doing it, Maya. Good to see you. Uh, big thanks to Juliette Lewis for being here. Max Weinberg, Max Weinberg, seventh of your last call. Start there. Bye, bye, bye.